Hi guys, Flying Fish here, and welcome back to some more Dokkan Battle, and we are here with the physical Dokkan Fest category lead, Gohan. He is getting his EZA now, which is very, very exciting. Uh, this Gohan is actually, like, super, super good, and this is one of those things that came with the Android celebration that uh, I was afraid of, at least, of, I'm, I'm sure many people were afraid, of getting pushed back due to global shenanigans because we're getting this Android celebration before the trunk celebration. But thankfully, they gave us to him to us, so that's good. That's good. So now we are here and in this EZA. So this being one of the category leader EZAs, uh, these are known for having a whole ton of health and like being very difficult. Oh, by the way, he's weak to androids, so just thought you should know that. Um, we are running... I guess I should probably run 17 as my leader, shouldn't I? Oh well. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cho I'm choosing to bring the Android 21 as the friend, just so we have, like, t more type advantage. And as far as I've gone through this experience, yeah, see, he's already at the purple health bars, and we're not even at level 30 yet. From my experience so far, I've found that this Gohan has a lot of health, obviously, but <laughs> he doesn't hit too hard, I find. So this is going to be kind of one of those annoying EZAs where it's like, you're going to be in this for a long time. So expect a lot of cuts in this video, which I mean, I do anyways, but oh, no, thank you, androids. That's some really good orb changing. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. As far as the androids category go, I don't think that this should be too hard for most people. Androids is like a pretty huge team and it's... Not like you're going to be missing a lot of these options. Like, how many leaders does the androids category actually have? It's a lot. It is, it's a lot. They got a lot of Dokkan's Fests, LRs, and the, like, the event sub-leaders and stuff. Uh, this free-to-play 18 is a good option. Not as the leader, but she's just good here. But she is also an androids leader, so I guess you could use her if she, you wanted to. Uh, characters like STR Cell or the... STR Android 17, the really, really old one who got his EZA with the cell stuff, he would be good here. And, oh, he's also orb changing as well. It's, that is true. Otherwise, obvious picks are like Android 21 and like those sorts of characters. All right, I think I'm going to swap out my leader. Oh, no, I guess 17 is just giving. Okay, all right. Maybe I'll use you as the leader instead. I saw a few people using you. We're getting less HP, but more attack and defense. I think it's worth it. Now let's jump into this. Hopefully this makes us go a little bit faster. Yeah, so far from what, again, from what I've experienced, he just doesn't hit very hard at all, really. Ooh, maybe, actually, maybe you can see the super attack counter right here. Is your, oh, that's, a, that's dumb. They need to show if, what kind of super attack they're doing in this little information. Like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of super attack this Gohan does. Also, dude, I swear, I've had the worst luck with the Dokkan Fest Future Android. With their, rain, their orb changing, I've always gotten, like, the worst... Like, it, they always change, like, the worst orbs for me all the time. Also, it's a physical attack, dang it. That's annoying. The Super 17's gonna get a lot of opportunity to show out here. Yeah, he's at 4 million right there. That's pretty good. And he should be at, like... 200k or something defensively i don't know i feel like his attack should be higher than that Ooh, this is good this is good um we can grab all of this with the android and then we can grab this with you and then android 21 has enough key already so she's fine oh thanks gohan you know it would be so cool if this gohan had a beam super attack and we could actually get the nullify animation in the video but, you know, it doesn't always work out that way. Also, the androids are at, like, 4.6 million. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. They're pretty good. 55%. You know, you think that's good? Yeah, I'm sorry. As as usual, I have nothing to talk about today other than this androids team and Gohan. Oh, yeah, uh, Gohan. Uh, I should talk more about what he does as well. So, Gohan is... Oh, 17's at 5.2 million right there. All right, all right, that's better. Let me actually check what Gohan does. I need to I need a <laughs> refresh myself. So, Gohan gets 158% attack, 
and then 158% defense, uh, depending on how low your HP is. Oh my gosh, this is... Okay, androids. All right. All right. It's fine with me. Thank you. And then he gets 30 and also 30% damage reduction. And then he builds up more damage reduction with each turn, I think. And then he gets an additional attack and defense 120% when there is a future trunks attacking. Is it wait, is it attacking in the same term or is it on the team? I think it's on the team on oh, my phone stein that's cool and i think he greatly raises defense for one turn on his super attack also yeah this gohan i don't think he's gonna be hitting the craziest numbers but he is gonna be like insane defensively i feel like and you do probably want to have the the trunks on the team as well a lot of his power is coming from trunks being on the team only problem with that is well, no, we do have some good future Trunkses recently. We have the Super Trunkses, right? I think they will count under his pass. And then we have the Tech Trunks, the Tech, uh, Vegito Blue Dokkan event Trunks. Yeah, I think he ECAs with the, uh, Trunk Celebration. Oh, yeah, uh, what am I talking about? Dokkan Fest AGL Trunks, the transforming one, who you don't want to actually transform because he gets worse after transforming. Yeah, like, literally, like, there is... We do have some good Trunkses on the team now. I was gonna say, I don't think we have any good Trunkses. <laughs> like, we haven't gotten, like, a million new Trunkses in, like, the last couple of years. Oh, yeah, speaking of, uh, the SDR Trunks from the the banner unit from the Int Broly Dokkan Fest. He would be good with Gohan because he's also, uh, supporting Hybrid Saiyans. Hang on, let me, let me actually look at him really quick. Okay, <clears throat> so it is with Trunks on the turn. He also gets a medium chance to crit? What? <gasps> I mean, he didn't even need that. And he, he would build up to a total of 58% damage reduction. Yeah, on the turn where you have him and Trunks together, they are just going to go off, literally. Gohan is going to be untouchable, and he's going to be hitting pretty hard too with his... I feel like he should have, like, maybe, like, a 3-4 million attack stat rainbowed? Or higher, I feel. I don't know. I I can't calculate that in my head, but... Yeah, this Gohan will go absolutely crazy in, like, Super Battle Road and stuff. Even the Legendary... Like, the GT and Legendary Vegeta event, I feel like. As long as you have, like, that Trunks on rotation, I don't think Gohan's gonna be taking anything. Do we have a Trunks who's infinite defensive stacking? Hmm. Oh, yeah. The, the SDR Trunks, like I said. Though I probably wouldn't recommend bringing that Trunks into the Legendary Vegeta event. Even though he is infinite defensive stacking. Uh, you could get caught by that boy, Evolution Blue Vegeta. So, probably say like the, the Tech Vegito Blue Trunks for like the Legendary Vegeta event. And then for the GT event, you could bring the SDR Hybrid Saiyan support trunks. Yeah, that could work. That could absolutely work. Yeah, as long as you build this Gohan right, like you build the team right, he's gonna be insane. Especially if you're low on health. I don't. I feel like there's not. If you're low on health with Gohan and getting like his extra defense, I feel like there would be nothing in the game that could really hurt him. Not even, like, the red zone. Oh, yeah, speaking of the red zone, uh, for those of you who don't know for some reason, it's the new difficult event that we got as part of the seven-year anniversary. With di the difficulty being, like, on par to what, like, the god event was at the time when it came out. The one where you fight Baby from GT. Baby is physical so this gohan i think would work really well in that fight and maybe you could bring like the physical super trunks as well i think yeah uh it could be done it can be it done. this gohan i think is just crazy also we're only on level 25 and it's been like 20 minutes <laughs> uh yeah i think i'm gonna start skipping more often cutting skipping whatever you, you want to call it Alright, done with that one, now on to stage 26. I gotta work in an hour, I, I, I don't think I have enough time to finish recording this. I'm gonna have to come back later. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, yeah, this is this is fun. This is, this is fun, easy, eh? Fun. All right, we are back. I'm back from work. Uh, let's get this done now. We got five, four more stages to go. So, uh, so what haven't I talked about yet? Um, uh, I'm sure there's something I can think of. You know, actually, who was it that? Also, Dokkan awakens with future Gohan's medals. I th I think it was the future androids. The physical Android 17 and the AGL Android 18. Those two would be really... I think those two ha could be like super incredible with their EZAs. I think they're both orb changers, aren't they? But they're only like... They're not changing like orbs to rainbow or anything they're just changing it to like physical and agl yeah like more androids buffs you know obviously because we sure need more of those you know no we don't need buffs for like i don't know the low class warrior category or the uh, world tournament category nah no just keep just keep giving us one team yeah you know speaking of there still are a lot of options and stuff that we could get for this androids team like we could get a standalone android 14 and 15 or we could get another lr 17 or i'm sorry we could get another lr super 17 or at least like a dokkan fest uh 17 super 17 one that starts off as both android 17s and then they fuse into Fusion 17, Super 17. And on that note of 17, we are still waiting on the EZA for the physical MVP 17 as well. There's that free-to-play int MVP 17 who still doesn't have a TUR or EZA. Ooh, you know, actually, I was just thinking about this. If we get a, like, a Dokkan Fest, like, Super 17, like a Fusing Super 17, they could do another android 18 from that super 17 arc and make her like the banner unit for him yeah that that would be and then you also have the the free to play of that uh gt android 18 who still doesn't awaken or have an easy a yet we could get a standalone fusion 13 like an lr fusion 13 something like that yeah a lot to come with the androids in the future well anyway uh, looks like we're done here. So, uh, that was the f physical future Gohan Extreme Z battle. That was not, um, I, I want to say that wasn't so hard. It just, this just takes forever, you know? Oh my, are, do we? Okay, there's, a. Um, I actually didn't do one of these missions where you have to beat it fast enough. Uh, yeah. How, how long did that take me? Four minutes. <sighs> All right, um, I guess I'll have to do that, uh, off screen, probably. I don't know. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, tell me in the comments if you guys are, what you guys think of this EZA. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe if you feel like it. I love you all, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!